Welcome to the Rebounder Walker. This video is 8 minutes long consisting of lower belly, upper belly fat burn and leg tone. Inclined sit up. Incline reverse leg raises. Incline leg raises. Decline bench leg tucks. Find an incline bench. This exercise will work best if you have a support bar, or foot brace, under which to hook your feet as well. Set the decline angle. You should start with an angle between 30 and 45 degrees. The higher the angle, the harder the sit-ups will be. Sit on the bench with your knees bent. Your feet should be on the inclined, higher, side of the bench and your head should be at the declined, lower, side of the bench. Hook your legs under the foot brace or support bar. Lie down so that your upper body is declined. Cup your hands over your ears or hold the tips of your ears with your fingertips. Avoid placing your hands behind your neck, as this can lead to injury when the head and neck are pushed too far forward. Raise yourself from the bench by bending your waist and hips. Make sure your abs stay tightened and your back is straight. You should raise up until your upper body is completely vertical. Lower yourself down slowly repeat for the desired number of repetitions. Increase the incline if you want to make the exercise more challenging. Well done, this exercise is completed. Incline reverse leg raises. The incline reverse leg raises is a dynamic body weight exercise. That strengthens the hip flexors and lower abdominal region. The exercise also improves stability and mobility throughout the lower back. Placing your torso on an incline increases the range of motion. This exercise places more tension on your abs. Which makes the exercise more difficult. Lie upside down on incline bench. Exhale as you slowly raises your legs until they are at a 90 degrees angle. Keep your core tight throughout this movement. Slowly lower your legs down. Inhale as you slowly lower your legs down until they are about 3 to 6 inches off the ground. Your heels should not touch the ground. Control the gravity and not let it control you. Remember to breathe, exhale as you raise, and inhale as you lower. This exercise is completed. Incline leg raises. Lie supine on incline board with torso elevated. Grasp feet hooks or sides of board above your head for support. With knees straight, 
Raise legs by flexing hips until thighs are just past perpendicular to torso. Return until hips and knees are extended. Exercise can also be performed with added weight. Lift your legs up by flexing your hips as far as you can. When your hips are fully flexed, pause for a second and then return to the original position by slowly lowering the legs. This exercise helps in toning, tightening, and defining your midsection. It not just targets your rectus abdominis, but also strengthens and stabilizes the hip flexors. Straightening the knees increases resistance and thus dynamically involves your abdominal muscles. The incline leg raises is an exercise designed to shape, tighten and strengthen the abdominal muscles. With this exercise performed on the incline bench, you can focus more on the lower abdominal muscles and strengthen your core muscles. Start by laying with your back flat on a decline bench. rested upon the highest end and holding onto the pads above your head to stabilize your body keeping your feet and knees together point your legs straight out in front of you in a plank position then slowly pull both knees up towards your chest as high as possible until you feel a stretch in your abs. Then return your knees back to the starting position. Repeat for as many reps and sets as desired. The decline bench leg tuck is a convenient exercise to do. Works the abs and lower back muscles aggressively. Enhances flexibility and isolation. Increases body and muscle control. This exercise can be done in a small place. This exercise is completed. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel, like and share. Thanks for watching the video.